Well, Barack Obama's on the phone. I hope he doesn't ask me to endorse his job skills on LinkedIn. Jimmy, endorse my job skills on the LinkedIn page. <laughs> you have a LinkedIn page? Heck yeah. It's the latest thing. The kids love it. It's where the world connects to embrace the joyous task we've been given to continually try to improve this great nation of ours. That's what I put in my profile. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, uh, I don't think I can, Barack. Oh, come on. Get with it. Hear that? That's me endorsing your getting up all in my shit skills. <laughs> now you got to endorse my fresh thinking that no longer settles for the lowest common denominator skills. Come on, do it. Then I'll endorse more of your skills. And then uh, we're part of an important network. No. Hear that? I just endorse your powder x-ray diffraction skills on LinkedIn. <laughs> Connect. <laughs> But I don't know the first thing about powder x-ray differentiation. Now what the fuck do I know about fresh thinking? Come on, get real. Hey, listen, hear that? I just endorsed your getting real skills on LinkedIn. Now do me. Let me let me think on this. Does Joe Biden have a LinkedIn page too, Barack? Are you kidding? Joe still thinks people write letters to each other. <laughs> but if he did, I'd endorse his creating a hostile work environment skills on LinkedIn. <laughs> Are you going to endorse his candidacy? I'm laying low on endorsements for now, Jimmy. I'm waiting to see if somebody worse turns up. <laughs> but he was your sidekick for eight years. Don't you worry, Jimmy. If he wins the nomination, and he will, I'll get on board the centrist express to nowhere. Because nowhere is where it's at. <laughs> but what's his platform? This. There's a clear difference between the two parties. Republicans want to take us to a bad place, while Democrats want to keep you in a bad place. It's all about security. What kind of security? The security of knowing you're in a familiar bad place as opposed to a new bad place you're not. <laughs> all right, well, what about Anita Hill? Uh, Anita Hill is all about whataboutism, Jimmy. <laughs> Uh, but isn't the phrase whataboutism all about ignoring the past? But isn't? The only thing worse than whataboutism is but isn't itism. <laughs> and the same goes for howeverism and but you knowism. <laughs> the majority. Of... <laughs> <laughs> the majority of folks say it's time to move on from that Anita Hill kerfuffle. There were good folks on both sides. Oh, who says that? Mrs. Biden. She's tired of hearing about that Anita Hill woman. She had her 15 minutes of fame. It's Joe's turn now. It's only fair. But wouldn't nominating Biden imply consent for all the ugly precedents you and the Clintons set for Donald Trump? Uh, there you go again with your butt wooden disms. <laughs> what precedents? <laughs> Drone bombing civilians and starting five new wars. That's not war, Jimmy. That's kinetic military action. You know, like what Hillary and I did in Libya. Hey, endorse my kinetic action skills on LinkedIn, okay? <laughs> I got the kinetic action. <laughs> Next live Jimmy Dore show is June 5th. That's a Wednesday at Hermosa Beach Comedy Club in Hermosa Beach, California. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for all tickets. We might be coming to your town. And if you love the show, please become a patron. Please support the show. We give you hours of bonus material every week. And please click that bell to make sure you're subscribed. Even if you think you are already subscribed, they unsubscribe people every day. Just check. Thanks for your support.